Hello my friends, I hope you are doing well. In this video, I will be doing a review of the 2021 Franklin Planner. This planner is called the Gingham Gardens Planner Love Weekly Ringbound Planner. I purchased this planner for my mother who was looking for a weekly planner. This video will be helpful to you if you like weekly planners and you wanted to get a closer look at this one. So here's a close up at how the packaging looks and this pattern is the Gingham Gardens pattern and the Gingham Gardens is what they call their fall collection of planner love items. Let's open this up here. Oh wow, now I did not expect this. So in these, with these planner pages, you get a page finder. This is the Gingham Gardens page finder. And you can also purchase this separately. So this is my mother's binder. This is the Ivy Simulated Leather Binder. And I put the planner pages in here so I could flip through and show you the different designs. So you get this beautiful cover page. It is a harder cardstock, And on the back is three years of annual calendars. And this will help you plan out for the future because you'll have all the dates there from 2021, 2022, and 2023. Next, you get the Franklin Planner Quick Start Guide where it talks about quick steps to planning. And here is, it explains the productivity pyramid. So each month you start out with an index. So this is your index page and this is where you write highlights of things that happen throughout the year. And this is used kind of as a table of contents. You can just summarize certain events here on your index so you can quickly find information in your planner. This is how your monthly planner pages look. You have a month on two pages. The month starts on Sunday. It ends on Saturday. And over to the side is a section for notes. Let me show you this up close. So for each month, there is a different design. So in January, the design will have this little flower here and blue along where the planner rings are. There are no lines on the monthly planner pages. And please also note there are no monthly tabs. So what do I mean by that? Monthly tabs looks like this. So if this had monthly tabs, it would just actually have tabs that stick out with laminate on them. And so what I did was I actually purchased the monthly tabs separately, which I'll show you in a few minutes at the end of this video. So the monthly tabs can be purchased so you have something to grab onto and quickly go to a particular month. All months are the same in that there will be a master task list. There's a list for personal, there's a column for business, and then there's a whole page for weekly tasks. So here's where you can write what you have coming up for the week. And then as you do them, you can check them off. And of course you have a column here to prioritize what you need to do for the week. So this is your weekly spread, so to speak. So your week is all on one page, as you see here. The week span is listed here. So this, for example, is December 28th through January 3rd. And this is considered week 53 because it is counting the week in the previous month for 2020. And so you have, you start with Monday and you end with Sunday and you can write in what you would like. It also has holidays listed in there. For example, here's New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. And and it also has the moon phases listed in the planner. On the other side is where you can list, have a list of prioritized task lists of what you wanna do for the week. And here is a column for notes, and here is a section for a weekly summer. Over here is a little like legend on the different symbols that you can use for your prioritized task list. I do notice that on this planner, there are no quotes, by the way. So what I mean by quotes is, if you compare it to the original planner that's weekly, like this is her weekly planner, you can see for each week there is a quote at the top right there. So here for each week you get a whole page for weekly notes and you get a whole page for weekly tasks. So you have a lot of room to write down what you need to do for the week. So to just summarize, you have a whole page before the week gets started, where you can write down weekly tasks. You can write down tasks in these blocks or things that are coming up there. You have a section here to write tasks. You even have this notes section. You can use that too. And then it starts over again. A whole page for weekly notes and a whole page for weekly tasks. And it 
repeats. Notice the design is the same for the whole month. So for the month of January, this is the design. Then we get to February and you notice the design changes here. And again, it starts out with the index and then you go to your monthly pages. So your monthly pages are scattered throughout. They're not all together like they come in the other planner packs here. Like when you open it, all these monthly pages are together for the original weekly pages. This is the design for the month of March. There's like a green background with little flowers there. Very pretty. For the month of April, the design is like a greenish yellow stripe. For the next month, there's a pink background with black greenish colored flowers. And then the next month is like a gingham green color. And then the patterns begin to repeat again. So you have the blue stripe with the flowers there in the corner. And then all of the patterns repeat for the next six months. So going to the back of this planner, let me show you what you get in the back. So here we're on the last week. You get a Franklin Planner page, like an advertisement. And then there are some blank notes pages. So lined notes pages here with the different themes. So there are the same themes repeated throughout. So you get five notes pages at the end of the planner. So as promised, I want to show you the monthly tabs that I purchased separately. These are the Gingham Gardens tab dividers that I purchased separately. You get 12 and they have different designs to match this planner. So if you wanted a tab for each month, you can do so. And then I was talking to one of my planner friends. Some people, what they do is that they will have one tab and put all of their monthly planner pages in one tab and just access them that way. It depends on how many tabs and stuff you want. So I'm referring to these monthly planner pages. These tab dividers come with pre-printed labels for each month. So you can simply place them, the tabs for each month on here if you like. Or you can use these for other sections in your planner. But they're very, very beautiful. And I did a previous video where I showed these planner tabs in more up close. But I just wanted to quickly show you those. And some of these might be repeated because I actually bought two sets of these planner tabs. But I do plan to put these in here for my mother. And these are the pre-printed labels with the months on them that come with those planner tabs. Another thing I wanted to do really, really quickly is write. I'm going to write on the last page here. Hopefully my mother won't see it. I'm going to just do a test. Just want to see. Now I am using a rollerball pen. I am obsessed with this ink pen. It is called a Botanica cross pen and they sell it on the Franklin Planner website. But it is absolutely gorgeous and it is a rollerball pen with gel ink. I absolutely love it. It glides across the page like no other. But I'm writing something here and I just want to see how it looks on the other side of the paper. And notice how you can't even see it. So in my opinion, this paper quality is pretty awesome. Another advantage to this planner is that it will coordinate with the planner love binders and accessories. This planner also comes with a matching page finder, but it looks very beautiful with this planner. So it is very visually appeasing. But overall, I feel that this is a very beautiful planner and I would recommend it for those who do not have as much going on and that don't need another format. I think this is very, very beautiful and very well made. If you have this planner, please let me know if you like it or not in the comments. I would love to hear what you think about it. I hope you found this video helpful and don't forget you can save money with affiliate promo code Tanya Plans on the FranklinPlanner.com website. This this is Tanya helping you feel more organized so this can be your best year yet. Take care. Mm -hmm.